Hello, dear friends, fellow star seeds, way showers, light beings, dragon riders. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another amazing message from Alashiria and the Ascended Dragon Collective, as channeled by Galaxy Girl for April 26th, 2021. And they begin We are the Ascended Dragon Collective. We offer peace this day. When hatchlings are agitated, we draw them close, just as we put our large wings around you. Wings are meant for flying, but also for comforting and for creating a safe place nestled in. It is never cold in the nook of a wing, for love beats in that space of darkness, and paternal, maternal warmth is felt as well. And Galaxy Girl says, I am seeing dragons in battle protecting their young, or someone else who is within their circle of protection. I am seeing numerous colorful dragons in a circle with large wings outstretched, looking like beautiful, colorful flowers from above. I see children with this circle of protection. I ask them why human children and hatchlings are within their circle of protection. And they say, we have also been rescuing human children from various places of your galaxy. We say your, for we are not contained by time space. We easily fly in between the galaxies and traverse the universes, for we serve all sectors. We have been assisting your kind return into itself. Many children, many human colonies that you are not aware of have been decimated. This war is not just on our land, but on many lands, which is why it is a complex chessboard. We are assisting with the rescue of humans. We are taking them for rehabilitation. Human children are with our children because they are friends. Humans and dragons have had a long friendship history and so it will continue. And Galaxy Girl says, I am seeing that scene they showed me in more detail. They are standing on a flat red hued mesa. The terrain is rocky, there are no trees. It is a barren place. I see fire burning below. Those they are fighting are of the Dark Alliance who fly in small, oddly shaped ships above them. I see some of them are humans and many are hybrid reptilians. I am seeing destroyed mining facilities and I don't wish to look anymore. And they reply, human, much has been done off planet as on planet. The humans were designed by others to be their slaves. Freedom is coming to humanity and to all that the Dark Ones had subjugated under their control. And Galaxy Girl says, I am seeing a dome of light within the circle protecting the rescued ones and they are enjoying their time with the hatchlings. It is a healing orb. And they reply, yes, our abilities to heal are joined with the angelic. Many of you also lend your light. We are in the final of the final days. We are in the moment of the final moments. We are in the space of the in-breath and the out-breath where all things are possible and all things are changing. The mother of all things has been blessing us and the wind is at our backs now. The struggle is almost over. Humanity, you are loved. Humanity, you are safe. Humanity, you are saved. Many of you are to be congratulated for your night work. Your sleep work has furthered our efforts and the efforts of many who are on the side of humanity trying to assist, to lend a wing, to heal, to hold space. And Galaxy Girl says they are showing me another scene now. I'm seeing the neon world of their world. Rocky cliffs all bright green with neon flowers and animals and impossibly high waterfalls. The sun is a bright neon green. They show me from their viewpoint. I am flying with them. The power and the speed are tremendous. We swoop up flying vertical along the cliff face and suddenly are at the top. A different mesa, one full of glowing life that feels very loving. The hatchlings and children are here playing together. Injuries on the children's bodies are covered in bubbles of healing that are rainbow hued. 
Some children are completely within their own bubble. They are smiling. It is a very high dimensional field of love. I am surrounded by smiling dragony faces and they tell her we have brought many human hatchlings to our home for healing space. They swim in the crystal waters and are nourished by the vibrations of this realm. We are the Ascended Dragon Collective. We know you are weary. We lend our support. We lend our healing. We share our gifts. The time is now to soar. You are welcome here. You have crystalline intention. Those on the path will vibrationally find this place of healing if they desire. And Galaxy Girl said, I see them blowing a fire stream from their home to our home. A fire rope path for us to follow in our meditations. And they reply, life is bigger than you know, human. Life is grander than you have ever seen, little human. Human. Be at peace. Be comforted. I, Alashiria, am speaking. The Divine Mother has blessed us with more light that we may bless others. We are all ascending higher in this sector and it blesses those who assist. You are growing faster than you currently understand. You are more beautiful than you could know in this moment. Be ready. Be ready to accept more light into your bodies. I breathe my fiery codes of ascension into your crown. Feel my blue fire's warmth and feel the divine codes within. Now ground this light into your planet's core. Anchor in. And Galaxy Girl says, I am seeing light switches being flipped on all over the world. And Alashiria replies, the flip has been switched. Critical mass has been reached. Energetically, it is here. More must align with this energy. Align, align, we dragons assist. I, Alashiria, am speaking. I love you with a deep and ancient love. I have long served humanity. This one and I, and of course she's referring to Galaxy Girl. This one and I have been together from the beginning. Many of you can say the same. Many of you have your dragon counterparts. Call to them. Connect with their ascended versions. We too have had to go through our own transition. Send love. Send healing. Sound the dragon call and send your own light code frequency with it and they will call back. They will hear you throughout time space. Send the violent flame over your intention. Only connect with the ascended dragon. Do not be tricked. You cannot fool a dragon, but many a human has been deceived. And so create this bond wisely with love and great tenderness of intention. There, I am heard. Wisdom comes with time. Use your time wisely. Use this moment to fortify, to solidify, and to ground. Use this time to find yourselves, to find your joy. For joy will lead you home into the higher dimensions. Do not focus on the echoes of chaos and the endless noise through your boxes. Focus on meditations such as these that we are lovingly offering to you. Focus on your healing and joy. Peace. I am Alashiria. I love you. I depart. This was channeled by Galaxy Girl. I believe the script is too long to post below in the more about section. So you will always find Galaxy Girl's fine work on the Sananda.website or voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I found this message to be troubling and I'm sure Galaxy Girl did as well. She did tell me that this is actually happening right now on our timeline. For those of you who are not aware of what we're talking about here, I believe that this will be coming out to the public in the not too distant future. Just 
send prayers of love to the dragons who are helping to heal our children as well as their own. Thank you, Dragon Collective and Alashiria, for bringing this powerful, sobering message to each one of us.